the Twilight movies hitting Netflix where they have dominated a top 10 list, it has been clear that fans are still hungry for more. And surely Stephanie Meyer writing more books had only added to the fuel. But could a cast reunion even be possible after all those years? It is hard to deny that during any official events and premieres, as well as behind the scenes footage and anything like that, fans were given a glimpse at the cast looked as if they were the best of friends. But was that really the case? What were the on-set relations like and are any of them still good friends? Which cast members had allegedly trashed their co-stars? Are there any hard feelings between the stars of the movies, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart, and the rest of their co-stars? And could the fans anticipate a Friends-like reunion? Stay with us until the very end to find out what's been going on with the cast of one of the most successful movie franchises. But before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Twilight fans have never given up hope for more content, be it a reboot, reunion or just about anything. So when Stephanie Meyer had published Midnight Sun on August 4th, 2020, fans went into a frenzy with more than 1 million copies being sold in its first week of publication. Proof that Twihards are still here and are eager for more. So you can imagine their delight when Stephanie Meyer had announced that she had at least two more books to come. Midnight Sun tells the Twilight story from Edward's point of view. But the other two wouldn't be the retelling of the rest of the story from his POV, as she said, I wouldn't want to do that, especially given that New Moon would just be a nightmare of depression and emptiness. She also added that she has them both outlined in a chapter written, so they are happening, but it is not known if it will feature the old characters or if it will be something completely new. Though obviously, the new book, focused on Edward, who many fans were madly in love with, had people asking one very important question, will there be a movie adaptation? As we mentioned in the introduction, fans are constantly eager for more, so a reboot or a reunion is something that many are crossing their fingers for. But could it be possible? At the end of the final movie, did the cast leave on a good enough note that they wouldn't mind spending time together to work on yet another one? Stay with us to find out, and if later you want to see if you know everything there is to know about the franchise, be sure to check out our previous video with some interesting facts, and you can do so by clicking on the link above. While fans loved the movie and the cast nearly right away, for some people actually working on the set, it took a while. Especially Anna Kendrick, who in the film played Jessica, Bella's first friend in Forks. In the past, many of the actors took digs at the franchise after they were done with the films, and this actress wasn't shy to let people know for her it was a blow-off audition for a role she didn't think she'd get. Well, life can be a funny thing, because the next thing she knew she was being shuttled off to Portland, Oregon, which she described as cold and miserable, and it could be said that it's how she felt about it all too. As in the same interview, she went on to say that while being wet and waiting around for filming, she thought to herself that this looks like a great group of people, but right now she just wants to end all their lives. Yes, that does seem quite shocking, but it could be assumed that she had only meant it as a joke, to reflect how the rainy weather had made her feel. And while it was highly likely that Kendrick was joking, another star from the franchise, this time the vampire gang, had something to say that wasn't a joke at all. Prior to the final movie wrapping production, Nikki Reed sat down with Seventeen magazine and, as some had taken it, slammed her co-stars by straight up saying that fans can forget about seeing the cast hanging out once everything was done and dusted with the movies. She told the publication that at the beginning it was innocent and fun and they felt like one big happy family at a sleepaway camp, but then success came and changed their whole dynamic. Speaking about how things were between them after, she said, We're not all best friends, and we're not all going to hang out together after the final movie is done. But there could have been other reasons for this. It won't come as a surprise to fans that as the cameras were rolling, Kristen Stewart and Nikki were very close friends, with the film's Bella even calling her on-screen sister-in-law her best friend. While Reed did not specify which of her co-stars weren't friends or reasons for it, some fans had suggested that possibly she could have meant Stewart. The reason for this? The rumours that allegedly she had feelings for Robert Pattinson, who, as fans know very well, later ended up with Kristen. Some publications, such as E!, had seemed to suggest that they had a brief fling, but either way, the end result was that she was harbouring some hard feelings for Case Stu. However, at the time, Nikki denied these claims and said that there was nothing between the two of them, but they were just friends. Well, in every rumour, there is a grain of truth, and as we mentioned earlier, her statements prior to production wrapping had made many fans wonder. But either way, in the end, things worked out better for Reed, as she ended up in a relationship with another vampire, namely Vampire Diaries Ian Somerhalder, with whom she has a child. And if you want to know more about their relationship, be sure to check out our previous video by clicking on the link above.
And speaking of that grain of truth, there might have been some in what she had said, as after the first Twilight movie was filmed, the main cast were quick to praise their co-stars, with Kristen saying that there was no drama between the cast as they were all obsessed and focused on their project, with Taylor Lautner in an interview with Vanity Fair at the time saying the cast really had great chemistry and we all hung out, and adding that they were really good friends. Now some of you might point out that this was during production, but what about now, especially after Robston's split? Well, we'll talk about their relationship in just a moment, so make sure to stay with us. But as for the cast, it's not to say that after filming was done they never saw each other again. The world of entertainment isn't all that big in the end, and they would often bump into each other at premieres or different events. And that is something that Kristen had backed up in 2019 while attending film festival in Zurich. She revealed that while she does run into her old castmates from time to time, they don't collectively keep in touch, and while she has personal relationships with a few individual people, they are far from having a WhatsApp group chat. Though when she wasn't being linked to Robert Pattinson by the majority of the Twilight fans, there were some who thought that Kristen should end up with Taylor Lautner, and while we all know how that happened, what is her relationship with her other main co-star? While Stewart's career skyrocketed after the franchise was over, the same couldn't be said for the actor portraying Jacob, who has appeared in five different productions since Breaking Dawn Part 2 premiere with the sixth one in production. And because of this, fans are curious to know what his relations are like with his co-stars and mainly his on-screen love interest, for the most part. It was revealed that while filming the movie, things were awkward between them, especially the kissing scenes, which hinted at a lack of chemistry or some tension, but the simple reason was that it was awkward for them as they were really good friends. Even after cameras wrapped for good, in 2015, Stuart was quick to talk about her friend in an interview where she said, I love Taylor, he's one of my boys, he's like one of my best friends. And it seems that time didn't take a toll on their friendship, like many fans had feared it would, because that year he attended the premiere of her film American Ultra. In 2017, they were photographed together at a fashion show after party, and in 2019, it seemed they were still regularly getting together, as she was seen at the actor's 27th birthday party. And while nothing new had come out about the two hanging out, that could be chalked up to the pandemic. And obviously, the most important relations, one that most fans want to know about, and that is Rob and Kirsten. How are things between the two? It's been years since Robston took the world by storm, and since then, the two had been seeing other people. Since 2018, Rob has been dating Suki Waterhouse, while Case 2 is currently in a relationship with girlfriend Dylan Mayer. So as you can see, curious, it seems that romance for the two of them is off the table. Though that has not stopped fans from hoping, and if you want to know why some thought this iconic movie couple that brought their love from the big screen into real life had rekindled their love, then be sure to check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, stay with us until the end to find out if a reunion of the cast for a special show would be possible. Romantic relationships aside, what about just normal relations between the iconic couple? Well, according to Hollywood Life, Robert had confirmed that he and Kirsten were on good terms, with a source adding that they texted occasionally. They also went on to say that they text occasionally, sometimes about personal stuff and sometimes about work stuff. They are very much friendly, but also very private too. Rob does not talk much about Kristen out of respect for what they once shared and where they are now in their relationship. So since neither really talks about the other in interviews, it's hard to really see how things are between the two of them. However, given that they text, if the source is correct, it would mean that they are on some friendly terms. But would it be good enough for a reunion show? A reboot of the movie is most certainly off the table, as in the past, both had negatively spoken about their experiences with the franchise, not to mention that, unlike their on-screen counterparts, they do age, which would make playing 18-year-old never-aging teenagers difficult. As for recasting, chances are that fans wouldn't take too kindly to that idea, as it is the cast that many fans want to see reprise the roles again. Some fans had suggested a sit-down reunion to talk about their experiences with the films, just like Friends had recently, but could it be possible? Touching back on the aforementioned disdain towards the films from its two main stars who had made the franchise could mean it would be something that they wouldn't be interested in, and given that they are the actors who made the movies, having one without them would be pointless. And even if Robert or Kristen are on good terms, they would most certainly have to talk about their past relationship, even if the on-screen one, which could be uncomfortable for them, not to mention the fact that is a topic that they both seem to avoid in interviews. And so curious, what are your thoughts on the cast relations? Do you think with time things might have improved or did they just grow further apart? Would a cast reunion be something you are interested in? If yes, which other actors would you like to see get involved in it? And were you team Jacob or team Edward? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.
Until next time.